Happy Halloween. Hopefully everybody has a safe Halloween. Um, can't really see the decorations the way I got it. I'm going to keep it like that. Uh, I'll get a little closer once we start doing this right here, this zebra tarantula. Hopefully Luna is hungry. Luna, are you hungry? There we go. Sorry for the music there. They um, played an ad, but I'm um, getting to see you guys. This patch is really difficult to see. I couldn't find a patch at Walmart. They didn't even sell them. They said they stopped selling them or something. So this is a GoPro thing where you put this on your head and you put the GoPro attachment on. That's the best, best I could do, guys. Uh, but hello, hello. Hey, Luna, you want to turn around for the crowd? Huh? You look like a baboon. You look like a baboon right now. Turn around. There you go. Okay. Well, well, hopefully you want to eat this tarantula. It's a bug. Hopefully it's not in juices because she's not a fan. Look, they know you laid an egg. You have to show your butt at them. I'm going to show them. This is the stuff I've been pickling over here, guys. I've been... uh. I've been pickling eggs, uh, making gooey butter cake. Um, this is from the beehive, one of the, just one of the, uh, the frames, half a frame. This is uh, honey. So this is for the house, though. I'm not selling that. I'm not selling any of this, uh, but you can get these for free if you pay for shipping and handling. All you got to do is email me, and I'll, I'll let you know how to do that. Handling is kind of expensive, but these uh, I can't sell, so I have to give these away free for shipping and handling. This is green tomatoes. I got, I got pickles. I'm not selling my salsa. I only have like two sauces right now. I made an extra one today. I got pickles, um, pickled eggs, and I have green tomatoes. But look at this. This is, I'm gonna have to hide this from Luna. This is Luna's. Yeah, well, it's mine now. But that's what Luna laid yesterday, her first egg. So I, I didn't boil that. But hello, hello. Um, thank you for tuning in, everybody. It's really hard to see the computer with this patch on. I'm going to do my best. That's what I said. But thank you, Mary, for tuning in to help out. Natasha as well. Um, and I uh, see you filled me once in here. I did another intro. I did both of the intros that you sent me. So fuel me once. If you, if you guys saw the pickled egg and, uh, video, uh, that intro was from fuel me once. Uh, also, um, there's another intro with the flower on the, on the cutting board. Uh, or when the dough's coming out and the flour and the logo, I put both of those intros on the grilled cheese that I just did today. That video's come out the sixth, so I put your name on the screen on that one. Um, so you'll uh, you'll definitely see that on the sixth. Um, I got videos coming out. Uh, Simple Simons uh, with Bob on the second. Uh, Vlog three fifty one mukbang with Bob on the third. I got a Sonic. Uh, if you saw Carlos with the guns. Uh, he actually, I inboxed him and said I'll meet him again when I went to Dallas again. So I met him for another video. So he's in another video on the 5th and the grilled cheese is on the 6th. So Luna's age group is starting laying eggs now. So uh, there are 24 in her group. So hopefully we'll start getting like three, three, four dozen eggs a day. We are getting like almost two dozen right now. We should be getting about three dozen. Uh, so when these start laying, we should be getting like four dozen a day. So uh, it's starting to get cooler outside. So I'm going to blame it on that. But they are they are coming along. Um, so we are doing uh, eggs. I pickled 12 jars of eggs yesterday. That amounted to uh, 18, the 18 cartons. Each 18 actually almost fits in a jar because they're smaller. But the uh, when they get bigger, I fit about 12 to 13 in a jar. Uh, 
Um, all the videos, guys, uh, I think there he is. Bob says, is Dick's Last Resort coming soon? Um, the video, all the videos, I don't know what dates the videos are coming out, but we went to Dallas like three weeks ago before the, the Las Vegas trip. So those videos are going to be trying to come out before those videos unless um, otherwise like uh, Estic or, or Ricardo Cabucci puts a video out. Then we'll try to, because we're collabing with those two people. I'm collabing with Bob. So it's like we're, we're it's kind of getting mixed up. So I don't know when, what videos are coming out, uh, but I'm trying to put the Dallas videos out first. So Simple Simons uh, will be coming out. Uh, then I think there is a uh, uh, Abacus, uh, a 6.5 pound burrito. It should be coming out after that because we did that the same day. We did team challenge in the morning and then that that night. So I'm not really sure on the videos when they're coming out, but uh, for the next two or three months, I'm putting one big food challenge out a week and I'm putting a speed challenge out. Um, and then I'll put a food review or a cooking video. I told you guys I, I was going to try to put some cooking videos out now. So I made good on that word. So I'm starting to do the cooking videos as well. Um, Tina says, where did you get quail eggs? Uh, I think I got them. I might have got them from Walmart. Just look in the pickled aisle in Walmart. I think they do have them. If not, it was an international store. But I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking I got them from Walmart. I understand, Lonnie. Yeah, work, work. Um, I was on work, so I had to be where I had to be. Um, but uh, I know other people have regular jobs and, and they have to be at a certain location. Uh, so thank you very much. I found all of this stuff in my bag. I was looking for my jars that I had from my, my house fire. I was looking for some other stuff. And I, actually all this stuff on the table, except these pumpkins, these were all in a bag, uh, double bagged. And it came from the house fire in one room that didn't get burnt. Uh, uh, my daughter's room got really bad smoke damage, but didn't get any burn, uh, like and stuff for burnt. But and this this room here had like Christmas stuff in and, and, and some stuff like that that didn't get burned. So all this stuff, uh, this thing smoking right here is a, uh, actually a hum humidifier. Um, her mom actually gave it to me because it's a ladybug. So this uh, and I actually put it in one of the other ones with the chimney. The one right there has a chimney. But this one is just a little ladybug, and I put it in here so it can smoke. What's happening, Eats with Richard? Yes, I look more like uh, not a pirate, but this is this is the only giddy up I have. I was going to do a hook on my hand, but I have to use my hands. That's what she said. Whatever. Hey, but uh, before I get started, I forgot I was going to, then I forgot to do it last time. So I'm going to do a dad joke real good, real quick. So uh, Alexa, tell me a dad joke. What do zombies and my jokes have in common? Lots of groaners. Lots of groaners. Okay. I don't know if you heard that or not. Alexa, turn the volume up. Oh, and if you guys didn't know, you can use Alexa for shopping lists. If you don't, if you can use that for anything like, hey, hey, Alexa, what's my girlfriend's name? Brandon, this is what I found from your notes. My girlfriend's name is Tasha. <laughs> I put Tasha in my notes so Alexa can know who my girlfriend's name is. Yes, I talked to Alexa Brandon, a lot. This is what I found. Alexa, stop. Oh, no. Alexa, home. <laughs> All right, hit that like button or you can hide it too, Natasha. <laughs> yes, please hit the like button. Please share the video. I'm about to eat this tarantula in about five minutes. Share the video. I'm about to eat. The, I only have 100 people in here. But I do want to thank, uh, let me see, it says, enjoy your gift. Thanks for the videos, man. 
Looking forward to the MREs and the rattlesnake slash tarantula. You should watch Arachnophobia with the old lady. Uh, would make a great video from B Barber. B Barber, I, I told on the last live, I will not watch a, a spider movie with Tasha. She won't. She won't watch that. You about ready? We're about to eat, we're about to eat this tarantula, uh, but I'm trying to at least get a hundred people in here. I'm not even getting like hundred people in here. Let me um, I'm probably gonna have to move that camera a little closer. Uh, I gotta find another stand for that camera real quick, if I can. Hmm. Well, I can just do this then. Whoops, too close. Hold on a second. It's uh, very, very touchy. Very touchy. That's what she said. That's about the best I can do right there. Or I can just stand in, stand in front of it. I didn't do, I didn't get it too close. Okay. Is there a video for it? I'm not sure what. Here, let me, uh, I'm going to open it up as you see it too, because I haven't even saw it yet. Oh, wow. It, it's not in juice. Does it have seasoning? Does it have seasoning with it? Oh, that's something to absorb the moisture. So there is the spider. There's the tarantula there. Please share the video, guys, because we're about to eat this. Do you want to see this? Do you want to see this? Hmm? Don't go to sleep on me. You see that? Oh yeah, you're you're curious. Oh, yeah, she's curious. Okay, let me get a, get a plate. A couple of legs kind of fell off. This is just the salt. I mean, just a, uh, a pack to uh, keep it not to get the moisture off. But here is the said tarantula. Okay. Come on, Luna. Do you want to come eat this with me? I'm going to come around here for, with you. Okay. You want to taste it first? You can taste the leg. You want to taste a little leg? Whoa. She already swallowed a leg. Well, how did it taste? Did it taste good? Well, Luna, I got another leg here for you. But I'm going to eat the good part. I'm going to eat the big, big part of here. The booty. I'm going to eat that booty. I'm going to eat that booty in. <laughs> and the rest of it okay all right guys if you got your family member oh you're trying to get some more of this one more one more leg okay you're not wasting the spider you are not going to waste this spider let me okay luna's luna's likes tarantulas that's going to be an expensive, expensive snack. But this is called a zebra, a zebra tarantula. So here we go. Are you ready? No, no hot sauce. I don't think I can do any hot sauce with this. I'm trying to get close to that. Whoa, hold your horses. Hold your horses, Luna. You're greedy. 
Ooh, you, you greedy gut. Okay, I'm gonna do this really close to the camera. Hopefully, you'll be able to see it. You still in the picture, Luna? Okay. Somebody said eat a live one. If you don't know, you will get kicked off of the internet, off of YouTube. They'll they'll strike your, your channel. If you eat any live bugs, that's cruelty. These probably died in a lab or something. They are probably testing for COVID and uh <laughs> And it probably died, so they packaged it up. But the, you don't, um, you can't eat anything live. I was going to eat a live worm for like five hundred dollars, a big fat live worm. But uh, somebody told me I couldn't do that because of because of that. Okay, you first. How about that? How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? Okay, here we go. Luna, don't eat my tarantula. Let me see if you can still see me right. Right. Oh, sorry, Luna. I got to get in this picture. I got to show these folks. Okay. Here we go. Can you see me? I don't want to do this without you seeing, not seeing me. Ah. <sighs> oh, uh, uh, almost. Here we go. It's dead already. It's dead. It's dead. It's crunchy. It's going to taste like a freaking Rice Krispie treat without the rice and the crispy and the treat and the marshmallows. Mm, mm, mm. Tastes like a pack of chip that ain't hot. Mm. Okay, Luna, you can have the two legs. Actually, it didn't taste that bad, guys. I'm not even gonna lie to you. You want to see something gross? Might as well. It's Halloween. Okay. If that didn't do it, nothing did. Oh, thank you very, <laughs> thank you very much, guys, for watching that. Um, I will. Uh, Move this camera back over a little bit. And we'll chat just a little bit more. B Barber, thank you very much for sending that. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, you're, he's sending me uh, six more, six MREs. So I do have plans for that. Um, I do have to wait about a week or two before I do anything, but I have plans for those. So thank you very much. Um, you did say, I'm on a delay because I started to stream late. Just finished candy. Uh, distribution all right well thank you very much let me move this um camera back okay all right let's get to good beautiful beautiful footage here oh man this patch thing Come on, I'm gonna be a real pirate. A real pirate, there we go. I feel like a pirate now. Yeah? You my pet pirate chicken? Oh, don't don't poke at my eye. I'm glad I got protection, what she said. Get back over there. Okay. Whew. All right. <laughs> Well, guys, um, I'm going to open the floor to topics, uh, but if you want to eat a tarantula, you can find them on eBay. B. Barber sent this to me. Uh, I, I don't buy, um, I don't, I don't, I can't accept food just from, from a, a, a residential address, but if you, if you want me to do a challenge, please get with me first to see if I'm able to do it, uh, but eBay, Amazon, Target, Walmart, just uh, stores, uh, Amazon, if I didn't say that, um, stores that uh, that you can track the tracking number, I can I can um, receive and possibly do a challenge. I'm not doing terrific, like big capacity challenges anymore. So please don't, don't look into anything like that. I'm trying to do speed challenges and weird, like weird challenges. 
I don't know how much it costs. Uh, B Barber, B Barber knows. Um, so if B Barber hears that, please tell them how much, how much or where you can find it at. I think just go to Amazon and Google it. Link. Amazon. Zebra tarantula edible. Uh, you can get them for like $11 uh, all the way to 30 in a can. They got them in a can. They got scorpions for 20. They have all different kind of edible stuff in there. <laughs> yes, Nicola, I like saying that. And every time she pulls out that big knife, I bought her a knife and she keeps it in the car to cut sandwiches now. So, and I had one of my, in my car that Audi A8L had, uh, had got me. Um, and I keep that in my car, but when she brings that out next time, I'm going to keep, I'm going to say that again. I'm going to have to say that that's not a knife. This is a knife, but, uh, she does not like me saying that. Um, uh, well, my, my, my interpretations, uh, are really bad. There's Lee. How about that? How about that? Catch, catch me outside. How about that? Uh, the Audi A8L, uh, Brandon, do you wish you could or had it with ketchup? No, actually, it didn't taste bad. I'm going to tell you now, it tasted almost pleasant. It was like a dried, cakey beef jerky, kind of. I don't know how to describe it. Tastes like a tarantula. <laughs> it had a nice spice to it. Uh. But, hey, I would recommend maybe you trying it. But uh, the Audi A8L, I wore that shirt again, the uh, guns and coffee, and I actually cooked grilled cheese sandwich, and you might see coffee, and you might see the other in the video as well. So I wore that just backwards. Yes, I wore it backwards with the big logo in the front and a little logo in the back. Um, but uh, you will see that video on the 6th. So, so I appreciate that. I was thinking about Miracle Whip, um, Leah, but it would it would have messed the challenge up. It, the Miracle Whip makes anything taste good, except pickled pig's feet. Maybe, maybe next time I should try pickled pig's feet when it's when I do a spin wheel and and land on that. I don't know when the spin wheel is going to be, guys. I have a lot of stuff happening, so uh, give me give me give me a two three weeks or so. I have a lot of stuff planned on the channel. Uh, I'm still trying to save money to get the new camera. Uh, you will see that uh, again. I will tell you on stacks and yokes that video's edited, but it's not scheduled to go out yet because I'm waiting to schedule it with Bob. But on stacks and yokes, you're going to see the camera the quality. You're going to see the quality because uh, Ricardo Carbucci came to videotape uh, Bob and myself. So I really appreciate him coming to do that. So he did that. So side by side, you're going to see both cameras. You're going to see what quality you're about to get. And if you're on a 4K TV, you will see it even better than what you're seeing now because he shoots in 1080. I'm going to shoot in 4K. So it's going to be even better. The, the camera itself is too grand, and the lens that fits on the camera is actually too grand. So I'm doing that in a three-year warranty. So I'm saving my money. I, I'm thinking... Black Friday or Cyber Monday or the first of the year if there's a sale. If not, definitely by February, I'm going to go ahead and buy one. I have to get a little loan. I have to cut, I have to rob a couple banks, maybe sell some hope down the street. But I'm getting that camera. A Sony 7 third edition. Sony 7 III. If you're if you're hip, if you're hip, you say Sony 7 III. You don't say Sony 7 third edition. You don't say that. It's like sandwiches. You say sando. It's a sando, like you're hip, like you're a hip grandpa. That's a sando, a Sammy. Or a, a brioche bun. My thing, I made this up. Brioche, I call brishy. It's a brishy. It's a brishy bun. That means you're really hip. You are freaking hip. Merkel Whip ice cubes. Mmm. 
Luna does not want to talk to you guys. She's all backwards on you. She looks like she's going to sleep. She's getting Chinese eyes. I'm talking to you. When she knows I'm talking to her and she doesn't want to be bothered, she closes her eyes. Yeah, I'm talking about you. But this is, uh, that's the first egg that Luna laid. The first egg she laid right there. But uh, I got this honey. Um, this is only from a half a frame, and there's uh, six frames out there. So you can probably almost get about 10, 11 times, well, probably more than that, probably about 15 times as much as this if the frames were full. But this is a half a frame of honey. If you ever tried this honey, you will not go back. That's what she said. And some people might try this, so I'm not going to put my finger in it. You try that store honey now, you'll spit it out. You sure will. I thought she was going to lay an egg today. I have a vlog. It's vlog 359. It's going to be like three weeks down the road. Um, but I got vlogs already scheduled from Dallas, almost ending, and then Las Vegas starting. Uh, so uh, the Las Vegas vlogs are going to take a long time because there's a lot of footage. Uh, but uh, I have a vlog started today since she laid the first egg. I thought she was coming in because some chickens lay an uh, egg almost every day. So I thought maybe she might lay an egg today. So I left the door open and she walked on in here and I thought, and she went in, in the, in the nest, the little nest where she had a little dog bed and the well, chicken bed. And she went in there and did, and I had the video uh, set up. I had the microphone. So I was trying to catch her laying an egg, which it didn't happen, but I'm going to keep that on the vlog. And every time I try it on like three or four or five different ones, I'm going to put that all in one vlog. So you're going to see Luna lay an egg one day, hopefully. B. Barber, I did send you smoked rattlesnake as well. That should arrive soon. Oh, B. Barber sending smoked rattlesnake. That sounds pretty good. That sounds good. Speaking of smoked, I'm going to, well, maybe not smoked. It's campfire cooking. I'm trying to find a campfire grill. I was going to get one from Sarah, but they weigh 100 pounds, and she has one in her backyard. She was going to give me one that was never used, but it's like 100 pounds. It's going to cost almost as much to get that here to buy a brand new one. So I went online to look for the campfire, the round, like big, thick, uh, raw iron metal deal. Uh, I tried to look for one. It was like $200 at the time, but now they're sold out. But they're the round ones with the uh, the little grill in the back that, that has the the metal uh, where you can grab what won't burn you and you can adjust it different heights. So I'm looking for that exact one to put out there. So Tasha and I can do campfire cooking videos for you and not even have to go all the way camping. Sometimes we can just do it here. Thank you very much. Uh, the MRE videos, they will be coming out. Um, uh, once I get them, I'm going to try to figure out a, uh, a time frame that I can do it. It might be too cold by the time I get them. I want I can't give it away what I want to do with those. But uh, I will definitely, uh, if I can't use them now, I will definitely put it in my reminder to do it in the springtime. I'm definitely going to use them. But I have a special thing that I want to do with those. So thank you very much, and thank you for all all you guys' support, uh, just commenting, sharing on the videos. Um, I like to interact with you guys. There's And, and I, po I, po I posted that post, and, and I post posts in the community news that uh, I just like to tell people, like, get stuff off my chest without building it up and being, like, being mad all day or anything. I just put it out there, and once it's aired out, I'm good. It just, I have to tell people that, 
Uh, people say I stopped doing food challenges. I'm not sure where that came from. Uh, and that's why I put that post. I said two food challenges a week is two food challenges a week. I don't care if I don't put nothing out at all and just two food challenges. And I think that's all they want to see is just food challenges. So they said I stopped or slowed down doing food challenges. I've never slowed down putting them out. I've never done that. Um, two food challenges a week. It's always been two. Well, it's been one when I first started off. But I put two, 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 food, two food challenges a week. Uh, if I put a vlog, if I put two or three vlogs out a week, if I put a food review out a week and two challenges, that's like seven videos. But it's still two food challenges a week. I don't understand what people's thought pattern is, but your math is messed up. Hey, Maureen, thank you very much for the $1.99. I appreciate it. That is your movie night. Uh, she she says she donates because she would she would rent a movie from Redbox or or uh, or somewhere or Prime, and instead of watching the movie, she watches the video. So thank you very much. Luna liked the Luna. You like that? Didn't you like that spider? Yeah, you like that spider, didn't you? Hmm? Thank you very much, Terry. And um, like I said, I like to comment. A lot of YouTubers, and it's, I'm not picking on YouTubers. It's just that's they might have they might be too busy. They might have a regular job. They might have a real job. Uh, but uh, I like to comment back as much as possible. Once I get a million subscribers, I'm not sure. You know, I might can try to comment back the first six hours. You know, something I can try to do something at least to still comment back. But uh, like right now, I know some people have like a thousand subscribers that don't even answer their comments at a thousand. So uh, I do the best I can. When you order something from me, um, like you order a merch, uh, the hoodies, jackets, aprons, uh, the, sh the uh, jackets, the hoodies, the T-shirts and aprons, I write a handwritten note to you guys to, to say, hey, thank you. Um, I don't just like have a company ship it off and I put a free sticker in there. I put business cards. I personalize it. If you tell me you want a, a feather from Luna, I'm not going to just pluck one out. They fall out, so I put them in the bag. I put them in the bag. I'll show you. But I, I put them in one of these bags. Where are you at? Here you go. So here is some feathers that I keep in a bag. So if you ask, if you say, hey, I want a feather when I order a T-shirt or whatever. So, bam, I'll put a feather in there for you. And I'll put it in a separate plastic bag because if you want a gooey butter cake, I put that in a separate plastic bag with aluminum foil. Uh, I put this in a plastic bag separate because I don't want to put food and food and feathers in the same bag. You know, when you go to you go to the grocery store, they don't never put your food and your feather in the same bag. You put your frozen in this bag. You put your bread in this bag. You put your feathers in this bag. <laughs> Oh, Fruk, Fruk28, thank you very much for the $10. I really do appreciate it. You guys rock. Choo Choo Man says Molly is the worst for follow-up. Um, I don't know if it would be worse because I don't I don't watch like pe a lot of people's channels. Like uh, I just see a lot of people, the heart, 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 or hit the like, 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 like. Um, some videos, there's one video with my daughter. When I told you guys my daughter had died, um, I just hearted everything. I didn't comment. I don't think on any any comment on that one video. Um, I read the comments and I and I hearted that. Uh, that's probably the only video that I had that I've done that to. Um, I've done it for a reason. It's just uh, it's just really difficult uh, to to go on that video and and try to try to answer comments. And speaking of my daughter, I. Um, I'm going to do a memorial out here for Ariana. I know somebody uh, on, on the other live was, was wondering, um, like Lowe's or Home Depot, if they want to do a gift card uh, and, and uh, donate for, for stuff that out there. I got a lot of stuff from you guys, and, and I haven't forgot about you, but I'm doing a hardscape first. So I want to do the hardscape. I'm going to do all the bricks. I'm going to, I'm going to spend, quite, uh, spend quite a pretty, uh, pretty penny on the bricks itself, the landscaping bricks. I want a good retainer wall. 
Um, and high enough so you can sit on. I'm gonna put a cap on top. So if somebody, you know, if you want to sit there, you can sit there. Put a put a concrete cap on top of it. But uh, I'm gonna do that that first around the weeping willow tree out there. Uh, and then I'm going to start doing the, the other hardscape around the area, maybe bird baths. Uh, I'm not sure about a water fountain because you have to worry about it freezing and stuff. But I have all your stuff, the ladybugs, all the ornaments that you had got. You got me. I got it in the closet in the guest room. I'm, I have all that is going to go out there. So uh, I really do appreciate you guys. I got another ladybug wind chime that I'm putting out here out there when I do it. So I'm going to start on that. Uh, I have a lot of stuff to do, guys, a lot but I'm definitely not going to uh, forget to do that because my daughter's birthday would have been November 25th uh, of, well, I guess next month. It's, tomorrow's next month, but November 25th. Uh, she was born two days before Thanksgiving, so uh, hell, I don't think people even remembered, uh, like people, people even know that I was premature uh, my daughter was eight pounds, two ounces. Um, I was like three pounds, and I'm not lying. I was premature, like two months. I was about three pounds. You, you won't, <laughs> you won't, uh, you won't know that now. Uh, but, uh, but yes, I was a premature, and but she, uh, her birthday was November 25th, so that'll give me some time to do stuff uh, to keep her, you know, to keep her on my mind to try to think positive and do something for her around her birthday. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know. Pete. Pete says he got a response. Um, I don't. I don't follow up on other people's channels on on comments. I just know a majority of channels uh, they don't comment uh, a lot. Uh, if they do, uh, that is really nice of them to do, you know. But I know if they get, you get so many. Once you get so many subscribers, and I call them disposal team members, but once you get so many subscribe, subscribers. It's hard to keep up all day long. Uh, it's hard for me to keep up right now all day long trying to answer comments because when I'm and, and I try to budget my time, I try to budget my time. So when I'm in the store, when I'm in line, I don't care if it's a long line anymore. While I'm in line, I answer comments while I'm in line. Uh, when I'm waiting, uh, when I'm waiting, uh, instead of just wasting time sitting there, I answer comments. But a lot of times, uh, like I know in the future, a lot of times I'm not going to be able to do that all, all, all day long. It's going to suck that uh, on one point, it's going to suck. At one point, I, I'm going to have a lot of disposal team members, but the other, you know, I'm not going to be able to get to all my comments, but I'm going to, I'm going to do my best. B. Barber, can I, can I Google the top 15 worst things to eat, order them and send them to you on a spin wheel, on a spin wheel? Oh, that's going to be a messed up video. Um, you can do it, but I, honestly, there's a, there's only a few things. Like I think balut, balut I've never had, but they said it's a delicacy somewhere. But I don't know. I might I might not eat that. But if it's on a spin wheel, oh, I might not chew it. If I have to do that, I might just swallow the thing. That's what she's that's what she said. So I don't, I don't know. That's a hard question to ask. I'm not really sure what the 15 will be. So I don't want to lie to you and say, I'm going to put all 15 on there. But if I could put 12 or 13 on there, then I would. Uh, but the ones I don't put on there, I'll have to get some courage and do it on an individual like video. Um, yeah, I understand. I understand you, Barber. Uh, I, I really do. Um, but there's a certain, there's certain things that, that I'm doing now, like I'm going to stop doing big capacity challenges. You'll have like two more months of, of big capacity challenges. Uh, I'll do mostly speed challenges, maybe six pound challenges, but, uh, I'm trying to get more like seeing you guys like driving, maybe a couple hours visiting like a, a, some kind of fair 
uh, doing some stuff with cameras, like just doing a lot of stuff, like meeting you people. Um, uh, just more involved in cooking, food reviews, uh, and just every everyday life that happens around here, vlogging. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to go the route, like the channel, keep going the route of eating the nastiest thing, maybe a spin wheel here and there, but not, the channel's going to change. It's going to have to change. I'm 45, um, and three quarters almost, uh, 45 and three fifths. <laughs> Caleb says, did you eat the spider? I'm still trick-or-treating with kids. Yes, I did. Um, I've already ate the spider, but uh, if you guys want to check that out, you can check it out when you get home. Um, check the candy. Looks like uh, we got smoked chicken in the back. But the smoke's all the way up here. One ounce of rotten seal is better than 10 pounds of pizza. Um, B Barber, um, it depends. It depends uh, who you're asking on that. But uh, I don't know if a lot of people's catching my drift of the channel about the direction. Um, that's why I'm, I'm spending four by 42 or $4,300. I'm going to spend on a new camera. I'm spending on a new camera so you guys get good quality of food reviews. Uh, and start doing advertising for businesses. I want to go to the back while they're cooking and do advertising of their food and make money that way instead of eating a lot of food and nasty food. Um, I'm not sure if a lot of people's not catching my drift on the channel, but uh, this channel has to go another route. Um, and I, I'm going to talk about that more in a vlog. It's going to be another another three, four weeks or so for that vlog to come out. I'm, I'm not even make, I didn't even make that vlog yet, but uh, this channel is going to be, it's, it's still going to have, it's going to be involved in food. I'm still going to do speed challenges. I won't stop doing that um, unless I choke to death, but uh, I, I'm definitely, I got to eat every day. So I don't care about doing a speed challenge. I got to eat every, like three times a day. That's set. 21 food, uh, food challenges a week, but I'm not going to do a speed challenge every single time. But if I can do two speed challenges a week, then that's good for me. Um, I do like to do mukbangs, so I do still might do some eating, some big eating. Uh, so I'll do buffet videos and mukbangs. Um, I still like to do those because the variety, I can talk, and I, I'm more of an entertainer now, guys. I'm, I'm not, I'm not just the eating guy all the time now it's like i rather entertain um and uh chat with you guys so if i can do lives live live buffets live mukbangs I, I don't mind doing that fruit 28 says that's why i like the channel it is well-rounded not just smashing food all video thank you very much fruit and um and that's why I tell people, I'm not just the eater, you know, I, I'm a person, you know, I'm a person. I, I want to show you the stuff that I like to do. I like to, I like to go hiking. You know, I like, I like long walks on the beach. <laughs> okay. That went somewhere else, but no, I, 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 I want to show you, you know, like I'm, I'm not the only eater, but I'm one of the only eaters that shows you pretty much all what, what they do. Like, I don't know if yours Pete does that or not. Uh, and I don't follow a lot of channels because I'm always editing videos, but, um, uh, I like to show you everything, like almost 95% of what you see. Like I don't hide, I, there's personal stuff you hide, but pretty much almost everything I do. I like, I like for you guys to tag along, you know, when we go to trips, I like to tag along. B Barber says here for the channel, whatever you do, just trying to contribute to the content. Apologize, apologies. Enjoy the channel because I don't have to listen to positive. Well, you know what? That is very true because uh, uh, I have family members that that 
complain about gas prices and masks and politics all the time. Um, when I call them, I, I, I always tell them, hey, I don't get off into that. You know, let's, you know, I try to change the subject. I just don't like talking about politics, sexuality, uh, religion, this, and, and, and controversial stuff that you won't change somebody's mind. So you're just wasting, you're wasting, you're getting mad over something. You're building up like frustration over something that you can't change. So I just like to change the subject on stuff like that. And I really do appreciate you guys for, uh, for uh, not doing that on the channel. So I really do thank you. Taste this one's in the house. What is happening? Taste this one. Yes, a uh, nice. Uh, a third bike ride would be <laughs> would be nice. Um, and I'll have to say, we should do it in 2022 because I can tell everybody when I'm riding the bike, hey, this is the first bike ride of 2022. So, uh, or 22. I can just say 22 because it sounds hipper. But. Uh, but yeah, I need to get back on my bike. I've been saying that for quite a while. Um, I knocked the cobwebs off the bike already, aired the tires up. So it's time for me to get back on my bike. Um, I don't have to do any big capacity challenges anymore. Um, I do have two or three months, two months, at least two months worth of videos of big capacity challenges. And then I'm doing speed challenges. So uh, I, I'm feeling pretty good about uh, the future of just doing um what i like to do on this channel and the, the people that do like to see that and they like to laugh i like to see luna i like to see the chickens you're gonna you're gonna have a good time because i'm gonna do a lot of projects like i gotta pull peel the deck off the deck on the back i gotta peel that off and uh redo the structure at the bottom and then put the deck boards back on so you'll see that in the future too I don't even know. I guess a lot of people's not doing trick or treating at all. All they're doing is uh, all they're doing is doing trunk or treating in the daytime. I don't know. When I was a kid, I knew it rained almost every Halloween. Uh, it's pretty cold now. Usually, it's cold and rainy on Halloween. Uh, nobody's knocked on this door. It's a, it's a long walk up to drive up the driveway up a hill to come to the house. So it might detour them. Uh, Sonia, let me know if you come this way. Many Louisiana, 70 miles east of Shreveport. We were just at Shreveport in Minden, Louisiana. We did a Abacus 6.5-pound uh, uh, burrito challenge. I actually edited that one. It's, it's, it's in private because it's not scheduled yet. I'm waiting for Bob to figure out dates that when he wants to release them. But... Uh, to let everybody know, I, I'm unable to, to individually tell everybody where I'm going. Um, you'll have to uh, watch my community news on YouTube. Um, I do post on my, uh, if I do any kind of trips and I know I'm doing something, I do post on my website. If you want to go to my website and lock this in, uh, you could check the events tab. There's a calendar there. You go to my Facebook page. Uh, the Facebook page is Doug Garbage Disposal. Don't do the Brandon Clark. Uh, I don't post as much on there, uh, but my schedules and stuff I will put on my Facebook page. Please uh, follow me there as well. So thank you very much. Cleo Bassett, it's $10. Love you and Luna. Bless you and your family. Thank you very much. It helps go on the chicken feed. Um, I tell people the chicken feed is about $150 to $200 a month. Um, I get the oyster, uh, the oyster shells, uh, a big bag of that. Uh, that's a 50 pound bag, 40 or 50 pound bag, but you put one pound in a whole 50 pound bag of feed. So that bag lasts about, eh, I wouldn't say 50 bag. I would, it'll last 25 bags. So I kind of put extra in there, uh, but I've been crushing up the shells that I do on the, the, uh, the boiled eggs. I crush up the shells real fine. I dry them in the sun and then I put them out there for protein so they can, um, 
so they can have protein. Um, and I buy uh, big bags at the half price store. Uh, we get the big bags of bird seeds for only four dollars. Um, I think they're 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 more than half off because they're like ten dollars. But this store has pallets of them. I get twelve at a time. Uh, but they like the black sunflower seeds for protein. Uh, but I, uh, I get all, most all my my feed I get from the uh, tractor supply store. So uh, they've been really good to me, um, and they get good. Uh, you get good perks there as well, being a member. But they uh, but I've been getting help with you guys with donations. So thank you very much for all all the money that you send me. It helps me get a uh, helps me toward getting a new camera. Uh, that's like 4,300 bucks altogether, plus tax, about 4,500 with insurance, camera, and lens. So uh, people's already donated uh, for that. So I do thank you guys for that. Uh, I do, B Barber, thank you very much. Um, might as well make it an even 50. You should try the streaming, Sir, Sir I've where you can have it come up on the site and YouTube doesn't take a cut. I'm not sure what survive is. No, but I tell everybody my cash app uh, and Venmo, if you send them there, then I don't get any money taken out on here. Uh, they take $15 of the 50 you sent. They take 15. Uh, so they take 30%. Uh, but if, but my cash app and Venmo is in my descriptions. I know the cash apps dollar sign the garbage disposal, uh, but if you cash out Venmo me, they don't take any money out. Um, if you do PayPal, they might take like five or ten percent out, but all that's in the descriptions. But whatever you send, if you want to send it here or send it there, uh, no matter what, it's out of your out of your pocket. So anything that uh, that that comes across here, um, I really do do thank you. And I tell you guys, if you don't have a job. If you're waiting, if you're in between jobs, please, please, please do not send money. Watch the videos, watch the ads. That's the only thing I want from you guys. That uh, if you're if you're down and out, please do not do that. I'll feel bad if you're trying to do that while you're still trying to look for a job or wait for a job to 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 get back in place so you can get back in there. So please, 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 if you're in that predicament, just share the video. Or just watch the videos with the ads. Just try to do that for me, and that's the that's the only thing I would like from you guys. But uh, but you guys are very 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 helpful uh, in keeping this channel afloat. Because if you didn't know, uh, YouTubers, you have to have a lot of subscribers to start making pretty good money. I make enough money with what I'm doing um, extra that I can um, I can pay the bills. Oh, Tasha helps out. So um, I still make it money to, to make enough money to do a little bit extra stuff. So uh, that's all I want in life. Um, I can't take it with me, but I do want to get other stuff to make better videos. So that's what I'm trying to do now. When I get the microphones that sound better, instead of sounding real echoey, um, I try to do the video to make video quality a lot better. Um, so I do do thank you guys for uh, for helping out and um, and buying the merch. Uh, and donating. So thank you very much. Terry says, Brandon, if I live closer, I would love to meet you and Tasha. Might be doing some traveling after the first of the year. Maybe we can come through Mississippi. I live in Central Florida. All right. Well, um, if you see us going to Central Florida or anywhere near there, uh, please let us know in advance. Maybe we can try to make that happen. Or if you come here, uh, email me like two weeks in advance to make to see where I'm at because I kind of know in about two week frame where I would be at maybe so uh, give me a two week notice and maybe you know, hey I would like that um, when I go to places I do like to meet you guys um, I think Stephen is Stephen still in here Stephen Warren was in here at first I don't know if he's still in here but he had drove an hour and a half in texas to meet me at the butcher shop so i do 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 thank him uh for that he did jump in the he did jump in the um the video real quick uh that video might not be out for like two months but oh there he is stephen warren's in the house thank you very much man and uh when you do show up and he can he can vouch for it i don't just leave 
uh, if you, especially if you drive, uh, I don't care if you drive 10 miles, but especially if you drive an hour and a half to come see me, I'm going to stay there as long as you want. Not, not as long as you want. I'm, let me take that back. I'm not going to lie to you on Sunday, especially last Sunday of the month. But uh, I'll stay there quite a bit of time to talk to you guys because that's how much I appreciate you guys for showing up. I wish I had pickled eggs for you. Um, I do I do have pickled eggs. I made 12 dozen yesterday, but I do have pickled eggs now. So if you if you want to email me about that, I do have those. Pick the pickles, the green tomatoes. So uh, I do have some um, some uh, I have two jars of pickled eggs and a whole gooey butter cake going out tomorrow. So the two jars and the gooey butter cake, I'll tell you now, was like $56 altogether uh, for the shipping and handling. The jars, the jar, the pickled eggs and the gooey butter cake were free. They were all free because I can't sell them. But the shipping was pretty much like $26 and the handling is like 30 because if you know my truck, my truck has almost 300,000 miles on it. It takes a lot of a lot of money to get that truck to move to the, the post office. So uh, you got to email me. But uh, all the stuff that I do here uh, that I'm shipping out is free. I can't sell that, but I just charge shipping and handling. If you catch my drift. No, no. They don't want to see your butt the whole time. They don't want to see no baboon. You see your little baboon? There you go. Thank you. You want some ice? You want to you want a freeze pop? Big fans that if you take a trip to visit notorious B.O.B. again one day, I'll definitely head down to meet you guys. Well, big fan, it would be my pleasure to meet you as well. Jeremy Mills says, just realized your YouTube had me unsubscribed from your channel. No wonder I didn't realize you had a live going on and assumed I missed the spider. Yes, you did miss the spider, but <clears throat> I'm not sure about the unsubscribe, how, how YouTube does it after so long. Uh, but, uh, but sometimes people have to check their notifications. Sometimes the notifications aren't see all. Some of it's like, I think it's see some, and then some of it's notifications, not at all. But I'm glad you did catch that. So, but you can go back and see the the uh, the tarantula get eight. Thank you, Slack Meister TV. We love your channel. Shout out from the Pacific Northwest. Thank you very much, Natasha. Check out the website and pick up the merch to keep him from having to sell hope. Well, thank you very much, Natasha. I really do need uh, need that assistance because selling hope is just, uh, I can't jump fences anymore. I'm not a good fence jumper. Story time with Uncle Bill. Nice on the shipping. It sure is expensive, but I'm sure well worth it. Yes, shipping is expensive, um, especially around Christmas time too. But uh, I do appreciate you guys. I'm going to jump off here soon. Um, if you guys got any other questions, I will answer some questions for a little while uh, if you want to do that. I, um, I do like to chat with you guys. And uh, Tasha's on her way back from Alabama. Um, she went with her friend Mimi and her sister Red. They went to a, br a brunch uh, and... Uh, they stay a little later because Mimi's sister from New York that she doesn't see much was there. So they was, uh, it's a four hour drive. So they'll be back probably maybe today. They might come back this week and this, 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 this year. I don't know, but, um, I know where I'm at and I got stuff to do around here. 10,000 diamond eyes says the shirts are soft as kittens. You'll fall asleep as soon as you put it on. Thank you very much for saying that. Cause somebody, had got a shirt and then they said these are soft and i say you know what everybody says that when i tell them they're really soft but they finally put them on or they they feel it and they say it is soft i'm like what do you think i'm lying but that's that's usually what how it goes that's usually how it goes terry says will you and tasha do a live together soon please 
Well, we actually, this is her last trip that we even had planned of, of, of running around everywhere. She wouldn't have been in this one anyway because it had a spider in it. But uh, she doesn't do spiders at all. I don't care if it's spiders as little. She doesn't do spiders. But uh, hopefully the next live she's not working and uh, and we can do a live together. We're going to do, we haven't had any many videos together because I was at Dallas. I went to Dallas twice already. I went to Las Vegas. I went to see my mom. I got to see my mom on the 4th and the 5th. I got to be there. I got to do a video with uh, DeWitt Company, the ones that helped me with the landscape, the uh, deer fencing, well, chicken fencing. Uh, it's called GeoGrid, but I call it deer fencing, um, and uh, the canopy. So they're actually going to help me out with uh, uh, whatever I really need. I think I'm getting two more rolls of deer fencing. Uh, to help out with the chickens, uh, to put a skirt around the house and around the she shed so they can't get under there. They've been jumping the fence, laying eggs under there, and jumping back over. Um, I might need to raise the fence up a little bit more, so that's why I'm, I'm probably going to be uh, expanding the fence to go upward because they are going over the fence. I need to start clipping their wing feathers, but I'm going to do a vlog with them uh on uh soon uh, i think the fourth or the fifth i need to get with larry dewitt the, the company owner uh but we're going to start doing food reviews we already got some food reviews already going on for march yes we started way early to think about doing what we're doing for march so that video those videos will start coming out in march i think i'll have like 12 videos on that one thing in march GI Wobble says the show must go on. I'm not even sure where the NOK is from, but thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. It should be okay. It is Norwegian. Crone. So Norwegian Crone. Thank you very much for that. That is $12 in you in uh, Norwegian Crone. So thank you very much. And I actually got uh, $25 from Jan A that uh, he actually, I actually uh, asked Jan A uh, his, his uh, special ops name is January Elephant. Uh, long story. Not really. His name's just, that's how, eh, for elephant. But uh, I asked him, I can't, I don't even see it right now. I don't even know why it's not pulling up on here. I had asked him what he wanted me to do in Ikea, because he's from Sweden. But he wanted me to do like mashed potatoes, uh, uh, Swedish meatballs, and some other stuff. And he said, I can do whatever I want to do. I said, well, I'm going to do uh, what you want me to do. That you know, So that's what I'm doing. Um, I got it wrote down here, I think, somewhere. I had took a picture of it. I still see why it's not on my... Um... On my computer. Hmm. Well, I'll have to find that later. I definitely, um, definitely need to know that. I got a, a message from Ricardo, Ricardo Kabuchi, because we've been talking about that camera. Um, trying to see where it's at. Uh, he is about to go back to Brazil next week. Lots of stuff doing before going back. But he's uh, he's, he's been in the U.S. for quite a while. Um, but Carbucci is going back to Brazil. Hopefully, uh, I can go back to I can go to Brazil with Bob next time he goes. It'd be really nice.
Yeah, some people might be new to the channel if they don't know. This is my pet pet chicken, Luna Boona. Luna Boona. She's hungry now. She's trying to find some sunflower seeds. She don't like uh, pumpkin Cheerios. She's digging through there to find the good stuff. She really likes the sunflower seeds. And she likes corn, too. You want some corn, Luna? Yeah, I'm, um, I had got some corn and corn on the cob, and she actually wants me to, uh, she likes me to shuck it off. So I shuck the corn off. Hold on, you're pecking my hand. If you guys have never saw a gooey butter cake, this is a gooey butter cake. Oh, in your face, in your freaking face. With that gooey butter cake delicious that's like crack like crack you get a free sample of that if you order a t-shirt a uh a t-shirt a hoodie a jacket or an apron you click the box before you check out it'll have a box if you want a free sample of that you get a two ounce like an ounce and a half to two ounce free sample um you can get those for free the whole cake's free if you pay 30 dollars for shipping and handling the handling's like 18 and the shipping's like 12, but the cake is free. I can't sell the cake. That's why the shipping handling is the way it is. A lot of people in here has tried it. Um, so uh, you don't have to take my word for it. Yes, and if you buy anything that you're overseas or over the border, I can't ship it. So please don't click that I want you want gooey butter cake. Because if you click you want gooey butter cake and I see that you're from overseas or across the border, Canada, Mexico, or even, I'm not sure, Hawaii, it depends how many days. If it's like still three to four day shipping, then I still send it. But uh, I, I can't send it even if you click it if you're over the borders. But uh, those last three weeks out the refrigerator. I just cover it up, you know, always cover it up, put it in like uh, a Tupperware, but um, I package it in aluminum foil and send it to you. It's good three weeks out the refrigerator. Uh, the banana bread is only out, out the refrigerator. It's only good like four or five days. So once uh, I get on the ground running, I can do uh, uh, vacuum sealing. I can vacuum seal it and send those. But right now I can't send the banana, banana bread. Tuna says the emperor is most unpleased right now. Uh, do you do you live overseas that you can't get a uh, gooey butter cake? Yeah, uh, you would not want a banana bread from me because the moisture content is so high, it will it will arrive with green hair on it. <laughs> it will have mold on it, uh, so you will not want the banana bread. I do make the banana bread and uh, I go, when I go to events, I have it in coolers. And if people want uh, to get it when I'm uh, at events, I usually have it with me on, on trips. Not, on, not from like if I'm around town, but if I'm on trips, I usually do. I know Tyler Garrick uh, had some gooey butter cake and some banana bread and pickled eggs. Yes, Terry, it says it lasts five minutes after they uh, after opened it. Yeah, um, gooey butter cake won't last three weeks at your house. I'll tell you that now. I'm just saying by the time you get it, I think the most it takes is like five days in the U.S. Usually it's two or three days. If, if you pay for shipping and it's only like 40 cents for me to ship it and, and it's a day extra, like a, it, uh, it, it gets there a day early, I'll pay the 40 cents extra, 50 cents extra, even 75 cents for you to get it even earlier. So it, I just look at the shipping and see uh, how much it is for the day earlier. And then I, I pick that one. Sammy says, will you make pumpkin rolls? No, if I make anything with these pumpkins, I'll usually make pumpkin bread. Uh, 
but I won't sell them, uh, usually family members and for the house, because to make the pumpkin bread is too much time consuming. I'll lose, I'll lose out. I mean, it takes me a long time because I roast, I cut these open, I roast the pumpkins upside down. Um, I roast them on cookie sheets. So, uh, and once I roast them on cookie sheets, well, I, I gut them out. I'll, I'll do the seeds. Um, I'll do garlic, uh, the garlic uh, pumpkin seeds uh, with extra virgin olive oil, garlic, and uh, salt and pepper. But uh, I'll, I'll take that out. But then I will uh, roast this, and then I puree it. Uh, I'll freeze it in different bags. So I make three at a time. So And it takes a long time to do the process. So, uh, but if I... I would probably feed these to the chickens, though. I got these only for two dollars when I came from Dallas. They was two dollars a piece, and it wasn't even Halloween yet. So uh, I got them for two dollars. I couldn't pass them up. So hopefully they. Are you gonna fall? You gonna fall down on me? She had her head all sideways. But uh, they uh, they start pecking at this, so they go ahead and um, they can eat this pumpkin. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's like pet. Can you pet your booty. Can you pet your booty. Mm. I'll spank my chicken. I'll spank my chicken. Mm -hmm. You guys are watching me spank my chicken. Something's wrong with you. Okay. She always does that. She makes a lot of racket. I guess she's just scared of what's what's happening. Like you know what's happening. Get that booty out my face. Okay, she don't want to be on me no more. You you a grown chicken now? You laying eggs and stuff. You laying eggs. And you don't need me no more. Yeah, Leah, a lot of a lot of times people say they, they shared the cake or, or they, they let somebody uh taste it and they didn't even get to taste it. They gave like the kids ate it and they didn't get to try it. Um gooey butter cake, uh, that's my family. My fam well, I think it's not a hard cake really to make. The process is you gotta get the process down, it's really, really tricky. But I've made so many of those now, I probably made four hundred of those at least easy. Um, uh, but I changed the recipe that my family makes of that. I changed, uh, the, the, the crust. I changed the crust. Um, they do it a different, different crust, but I have to be different. I like the way I do it. Yes. Natasha says Robert O. Chip ate all ours. Yes, if you didn't know, I thought her son Robert was cursing. Oh, Chip. Like all in the background, all I heard was oh, beep. And I was like, is she just going to let Robert curse like that? And and come to find out, he was saying oh, Chip. It was the Pringles. When he was doing the Pringles, uh, um, the Pringles food challenges for like, normal earthlings trying to do food challenges uh and he was saying oh chip in the back um b barber says watch a noah j456 stream and you will know what i mean um that doesn't sound like a youtube stream to me they do have a yard, stream yard, uh, but what I do, um, I do for YouTube, if they're doing something on a different platform, uh, then YouTube is not going to monetize it, so I won't get paid from the video itself. But thank you very much. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, I, I thank you for all your help. Thank you for doing, uh, to sending that for the Halloween. I didn't have a Halloween video. I was wanting to do a role reversal with me dressing up like Tasha and Tasha like me, but we had too much stuff going on. Uh, maybe we'll just do one in the future without being Halloween, just doing a funny one. Because if you didn't see, if you guys haven't saw the role reversal we did last Halloween, please, please, please check it out. 
Uh, she surprised me with what she did here. We went shopping, and I didn't know she was doing this. But uh, that's the video. Please save that for a second and watch that in a little bit. But um, if you got any other questions, uh, I will actually uh, answer some more questions, guys. Tuna, it says Stream Labs is probably what B Barber is talking about. You can put notifications and such in, on screen when you get them. Okay, it, it's just a add, it's an add on that you can um, put on YouTube, I guess. I might check it out. Um, I do I do take uh, advice from time to time. No, uh, B. Barber, I do listen. That's what I was just saying. I was going to check something out, but I need to know the name. I don't have time to like watch like like a lot of other videos. Like when people send me videos, I really can't watch them. Uh, if you don't know what I do all day, I edit and shoot videos pretty much all day long and mess with the chickens. So I don't have time to watch like watch anybody's videos. But if I know a certain route that gets me there quicker, like he's talking about, I can Google add-ons on YouTube. Uh, I, if it, if it was, uh, if it was another platform where I didn't get monetized, it was another thing totally, then I wouldn't have done it at all. Cause that's the route that it looked like until he said it was going to be, uh, it might be an add on, then I could maybe do that. But if you do the, uh, like, uh, so just talking about the inputs and all that stuff. That I don't, I really, um, I have to sit down for a while and try to figure stuff like that out because it does take time. Instead of it's easy just to click it, add it, and let it, let it stream. But if I got to put all the different stuff in there, I might not end up doing it. I'll Google it first to see how easy it is. But if it's not, uh, if it's, it's too time consuming, then I will not mess with it. But I wrote, I wrote it down, though. Here we go. All right. I'll check that out soon. Yeah, Luna's um, got her back to you. She's, she's sleeping. She's... That's, that's her sleeping. Marine, um, it's still, I still have it. It's right here. But I, um, I pickled all the rest of them. But this is hers. I was going to show Tasha. But, uh, But that's the uh, that's the egg there. Thank you, head to tail. I got these pumpkins for two dollars a piece, and uh, these here I think I got for a dollar fifty or something. Had a design on it. Uh, we're going to end up probably roasting these and probably make pumpkin bread uh, eventually out of them. Uh, I'll, I'll puree them. I'll roast them, puree them, uh, and then um, I'll freeze it. But uh, I'll do the, the, the garlic and salted um, pumpkin seeds. Hey, Luna, guess what time it is? Hey, Alexa, tell me a dad joke. What's faster than the speed of light? The speed of your dad saying, turn off the lights.
me see. The Fox Den says, can you make the butter cakes as cookies? Um, I guess you could, but it's a lot quicker just to make a cake and cut them into squares and you can have square cookies. Yeah, if you do cookies and have to do each one, uh, the filling would probably fall off when you do the cookies. It's best just to go ahead and that's like making brownie cookies. Instead of making brownies like cookies, just make the whole thing and cut them into squares. Somebody else asked me to do that, and I was like, it's more economical to do it this way. I had to um, already hid the person from the channel. So you, go ahead and make a new screen name so you can say something else ignorant. Uh, the math lesson I gave you, uh, I see people don't listen. Uh, people don't make a lot of money on YouTube unless you have like millions of subscribers. Uh, but the lesson I gave you, if you read the comment, was I make about two to three times more than somebody, like say I have 60,000. If somebody has 180,000 subscribers, I might make more than them because of the way my channel is set up that I'm not doing the 10 minute videos that everybody says, YouTube, you're supposed to do 10 to 15 minute videos at the most. I think 10 to 12. My videos are like an hour long. People that watch 10 to 12 minutes actually only watch one to two minutes of the whole video. People that watch one hour long videos watch about 18 to 20 minutes. So the math lesson you're getting is somebody watches my videos nine times more than somebody's putting that content out. So with that said, I'm pretty sure you don't have a YouTube channel or your YouTube channel sucks at uh, trying to do, do anything with making money. Uh, when I do anything about making money, folks, uh, I try to do it the best I can uh, and I don't waste my time doing it. So I do it the best that I know how. Um, so I do add in a lot of extra stuff. I do comment on everybody's videos, uh, on everybody else's comments. I try to reply on them. So, uh, yes, uh, you are correct on the math that I'm making more than, uh, somebody that has two to three times more subscribers than me because subscribers is just a number. Uh, the people that tune into my channel, uh, they actually are the ones that make the channel and the ones all that's watching here. And even the people that envy me that come in to comment ignorantly give me money because they have to watch my channel. Um, they're all subscribed and I control their life uh, because they have to think about me every single day. Uh, for somebody to be really, really envious of somebody and not like their channel and thumbs down all their videos, I control their life because they think about me every day. They're subscribed and have a notification that I'm li I'm live or I have a video out, so you can thumbs down it. So I'm thinking I'm winning in that in that uh, edge of the world. But with that said, um, thank you very much for tuning in and giving me a view. Appreciate it. I will put that on the electric bill. Yeah, some people are not too bright. They only want to hear what they want to hear. They're, they're hearing that I make tons of money. With, I always tell them on here, I make as much as a Walmart employee. I've always said that. Well, I haven't always. I, I've made less than a Walmart employee. But I've always said, probably the last year, I make about as much money as a full-time Walmart employee. But the people that might have three times describers of me might make much as a part-time employee because they just don't care about commenting on videos and such. Yeah. Yeah, Mary, that's pretty much, uh, no, um, no, there's some stuff 
I, I like to get it out there. Like right now, I know they heard what I what I said. Um, so that that that's all I needed to do. Uh, other than that, uh, when I say stuff like that, it just needs to get out there to, to let them know that I know they know that I know they know. <laughs> but it doesn't bother me after I get it out there. Uh, I just need them to know that I know they know that I know they know. Actually, the electric bill and water bill here, I've never had a water bill freaking this low. Never. I accidentally left the water on a few times and it dripped from the tube, uh, from, the, uh, from the faucet. My highest water bill here was $10. $10 for the month. It's usually $7.50 or less. I like, I've never had a water bill. It's not well water. There's not a pump. There's not a soft water pump out here. $7.50 a month. An electric bill is not bad either. Yeah, I was surprised. I was very surprised. But I still, I have the, the heater cut off like when Tasha's gone. Just because the, the electric bill's low don't mean I need to just keep it running anyway. I'm the same person if I had money or not. Um, so I still like to save money. So the electric is, the, the heater is off right now. I got, uh, again, I do have videos coming out on the 2nd, the 3rd, the 5th, and the 6th. I'm taking a day off <laughs> of videos. Tomorrow, no video. Uh, but if you comment on any of my, of my uh, videos, I will be replying back. Um, I want to do, a, I got a lot of stuff to do in the yard. I'm not going to tear that deck off yet. I'm going to wait till I get back from my mom's. I'm going to my mom's to uh, on the 4th and the 5th. Uh, I'll be there in the fourth. I just got a brand new chainsaw because she was going to pay somebody to, about 700 bucks to cut that tree down, to cut just the limb off. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I needed a chainsaw anyway for the six and a half acres we got. So I needed a chainsaw. So I went ahead and got one. Uh, so I'm going to go there, help her and get that, that tree limb cut because the trash service said they're not going to be picking up her trash uh, uh, soon because the bucket can't go uh, over the, the limb. So I'm going to be doing that in Sykeston, and that's when I'm doing the video for the uh, DeWitt company. I'm going to be doing the video for that. So I'm going to do a vlog for that because he's helped out with stuff around this house. Um, he heard about my daughter passing, so he uh, he had gifted the uh, landscaping fabric, the geo grid, a.k.a. deer fencing, a.k.a. chicken fencing, and the canopy uh, material. Uh, so uh, I'm going to get two more things of deer fencing um, for uh, the chickens. I'm, I'm going to start calling them chicken fencing. But I'm going to get two more rolls of that and get a vlog of him so I can try to advertise his company a little more um, and show my appreciation. Yes, please subscribe to Head to Tail Barbecue and Cooking's channel. Um, I really do uh, thank him for allowing me in his house and uh, his mom cussed me out. <laughs> uh, I got to tell that story, uh, John. Uh, head to tail barbecue and cooking. Um, she didn't know, but I, I was sleeping in my car like that. that I said, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm about to, she thought I left, but I left to go out in the car. I slept in my car. And when I came back in the house, she she country cursed me. She didn't really curse, curse, curse me out. But yes, she uh, she had some words for me. She goes, "You you're never going to do that again." Um, she she yeah she didn't like that. But uh, uh, we got to do some cooking videos, uh, and uh, we got to chat. And hopefully, I can get down there and see you again uh, and do some other stuff. I have a lot of I mean, there's just a lot of stuff building up here. Uh, that's what she said. That uh that I have to do around the yard. I got the chick, I got the chicken done, the chicken, 
uh, house, the coop done. I got the she shed done. I got the deck and I got my daughter's uh, deal to do. The uh, the hardscape on the memorial for my daughter is going to be around the end of this month. Her birthday is the 25th. So I'm going to probably do it right around that time. I'm going to figure out some some time for me to do some uh, camping, but I might be getting too cold to do some camping. Yeah, I'm just joking uh, with head to tail about his mom. Well, I'm not joking. She did curse at me, but uh, she, she was concerned. She was not cursing at me because she was like mad, mad like that. She was concerned is all. <laughs> Loop. I was waiting for it to drop, but you got a diaper on. You got your little diaper on. Matt Elder says, have you ever hit a speed challenge at a drive through where it was a massive family order and you said, F that? No, actually, I haven't. Um, that's what I'm waiting on. I'm actually waiting on that too to happen. I probably won't do it in a minute and a half if it's one person, but if there's six people, if there's six people, then I'm going to try to do that challenge. That's nine minutes. I get nine minutes to do that. So, uh, it's going to be a hard challenge. If all six, if really hard challenge, if only one person was ordered for six people, then I got one and a half minutes because one person was in the car, but no, um, whatever I do on this channel, if I fail, if I don't fail, it's going on the, the video. Uh, and that's just, that's part of the, that I'll have what the person has in front of me. Um, actually, you're going to see, you're going to see a sonic challenge that you've never saw before uh, when Bob and I went. Uh, that video, I can't tell you anything about it, but that's, that is probably never going to happen again. <laughs> But you're going to see something that you will never see, you never saw on YouTube before. How about that? And it was it was because we had donations for the Dallas trip, so we wanted to make sure we used that money up. We, we used more than actually the donations, but we wanted to make sure we used that money and didn't just keep it. So we definitely did that. Matt Elder, yes, I like that. That's what. Kimberly says, I see Luna and I was just fired from Walmart. Love all your videos. Thank you for always putting a smile on my face. Much needed. Well, thank you very much, Kimberly, because I actually read that wrong at first before I said it. I thought it read that I got you fired from Walmart for always putting a smile on your face. But the number one thing I'm going to tell you right now, this is what my stepdad told me. My stepdad uh, taught me how to look for a job. There's a lot of people hiring right now. A lot of people hiring right now. Um, what, what he did was tell me to get a notepad. Keep a notepad. And that notepad is only used for looking for a job. Write down where you went, what day you went, who you talked to, and write down when are you going to call them to, to call them back to ask about that job. And then when you did that, do another thing when you're going to call them back again. So you and do that for every job and put everybody's name down you talk to and, and any information that you can and put the number beside it. And it makes it easier when you call back to, uh, to refer to who you're trying to talk to. Um, but uh, but uh, just don't. Uh, and, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you uh, what, people, if you have a job and say it's a it's a. And you, and, and you, and that's kind of hard to tell. I would always look for a better job. Always look for a better job. If you have a job, 
don't quit the job or, hey, I'm taking today off to go look for a job. Don't do that. On your day on your day off, you see something, hey, I might want that job. How much are they paying? You have leverage. You can say, hey, I want this much pay. So you already have a job, but you got you can say, hey, I would like such and such an hour. So if you can get that, and uh, it's just uh, you never want to settle for just a, just a regular job. You might get something better. Thank you, Tammy. Yes, never settle for like like what I'm doing for YouTube. Oh, I have some subscribers. I'm having my I'm getting my bills paid, but I want to spend so much money on this camera because I want to get into advertising because I know I know I'm a um I'm a go-getter. I'm not just sitting there and wait for stuff to happen. When I get that camera, I'm definitely going to get out there and start doing some hikes, doing some videos of of, of, of practicing with that camera. I'm going to get in there. I want to do a video for uh, the original hot dog factory and spice wing. I want to do a video for him. I told him I would do a video for him to, uh, to, to help me advertise because what I'm going to do is use that advertisement and say, Hey, when I, when I try to get other people to do it, I'm saying, Hey, check this out. If you like something like this, this is what I do. And then throw them a price. But uh, I'm um, I'm not selling for just you know just doing food challenges all the time. Um, there's there's other stuff out there. When you get older, you have to think about what you're going to be doing in the future. I can't keep doing this. I'm not going to be doing this when I'm 50, 60, 70, doing tapioca tapioca at the domino table challenges. I'm not going to be doing that. sugar-free pudding at bingo. <laughs> John Thunderstorm Paranormal King says, Brandon, have you ever been too drunk to fish? I've been freaking too drunk to fish so many times. I went fishing to go get drunk. I caught a drunk. I never caught a fish. I went, I'm going to tell you, I went so many places to go fishing. I didn't know where I was going fishing. I knew I was drunk. I bring a, a fifth or two. Um, and uh, sometimes I passed out and woke up the next day. But yes, I've, uh, I went fishing and having hope on me. If you know what hope is, I had hope on me. People would page me. And they knew where, and then I, I didn't answer the pages. They would know where I was fishing at. So they would come over there and buy hope from me while I was sitting at the bank drinking, not even catching any fish. Thank you, Silver Star. Um, and it's all to do with food. It's still, I, I, I don't like to use the word love too much, but I love to cook. I love to eat. If that involves me taking pictures of food and slobbering while I'm, while I'm making the video because I really enjoy food, um, I will love to to do the advertising and get get the get the pops. Say I'm slobbering already. Get the pops of the oil or the butter or the the food, the bacon, the uh, the meat, the, all the lettuce crisp, the water popping off of it. I want to get a really good, just really good advertising for people and um, do good videos. Like when I do food reviews, I can go back into their kitchen and do really good shots for you guys. Uh, the food review will be first, and then I'll cut it and say, hey, if you want to watch the the behind the scenes of the uh, the food, it will be at the end. So people that are really fidgety that don't want to watch all that, they just want to see the food review, I'll put that first. So that's what I've been doing on some of the videos. Re really hard on the body, Nicola. You're going to see a video in the next three or four weeks that's going to really shock people. Um, I can't really get into detail about it, but I stop after after I was done. I stop and talk to you guys on the camera. 
Um, and then the day after that, I have a plan to do a vlog the day after the, the, the when that challenge is over. The day after, there's going to be a vlog to talk to you guys about this channel. Um, I've already kind of told you guys, I kind of warmed you guys up about uh, there's stuff that's going to have to change. Um, there's no way possible. I don't understand the couth of some people that just get mad that I don't want to do food challenges anymore. I haven't wanted to do food challenges in two years, two, two and a half years. I didn't want, I haven't been wanting to do the big massive food challenges. If, if you can, if you know, if, if I go like trips with Bob, Bob knows because I'm like, Bob, man, I just, I, I, he already knows I'm just like fed up with food challenges, but I've been pushing myself just to do it. You know, I, I can't do massive challenges at home anymore. You don't never see me do any massive challenges at home because I don't have the drive. I don't care. I don't want to, I just don't want to. But when I do a, a an earthly versus me, like a, a fast food, one challenge, it's more of a thrill because I'm just trying to do that. I'm not trying to do a freaking 10 pounds of one item. Uh, If I do two, like by myself without doing how uh, I have what they're having, if I try to do a family meal by myself and I did a Wendy's family meal, actually, when I was halfway through the first meal, my brain was like, I don't even want to do this. But my brain again said, I already paid for it. I'm already doing the video. I'm going to waste the video. I have to do it. So I had to talk myself in while I was eating, talk myself into finishing that challenge. Uh, you guys just don't know. I mean, I'm just, I'm done. I'm like, I'm tired. I'm tired of doing the challenges. I like, I'm not tired of seeing you guys. I'm, that's why I've been going live, you know, more and more lately. Um, I'm not tired of that. I'm not tired of communicating with you guys, uh, answering the, you know, the, the, the comments, but it's just, uh, enough's enough, man. It's just, uh, I can't, I, I don't see how some people does it like over five years. This has been five years for me and I, I'm just like tired. What is happening, Drugstore Makeup Diva? Thanks for tuning in. Kimberly says, what will you and Tasha do with all those cookies? Uh, cookies. I don't see any cookies. The uh, I have the gooey butter cakes that I'm, I'm, I'm distributing. and uh, But all these right here, these, if you're looking at these, these ain't cookies. These are just, uh, this is a... Uh, um, decorative deal. Head to tail says we need to do an earthling versus me and my dog chops. <laughs> I don't know. Dogs can wolf stuff down. Oh, wow. I didn't even know it was going to be two hours. How long has it been? Well, I'll go two hours. That's what she said. I'll go two hours, then I'll end this live stream. B. Barber says, Could, couldn't, you don't have to send money every time you do it. You can comment and I can read it. Uh, but thank you very much. Couldn't sleep. Uh, I noticed on the first two, because on your gift on your gift card deal, it said uh, it was capitalized too for the first two of them. But couldn't sleep, Brandon. I will send you another six more MREs. Uh, the people don't want to wait till spring for the MRE video. Okay. Well. Um, We'll have to figure something out. I want to do something different. And if you know my channel, I like to do stuff different. Uh, I don't like to do the everyday ordinary where you, you tune in like, oh, it's a food challenge. 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 Oh, it's, I can do this all day. But, um, oh, this guy, what the heck is he doing? So it's when you, it, when you watch my videos, I don't know what the heck I'm going to say. I'm going to say it and I'm going to keep it on the video. So I think that's why some people watch the videos because they are waiting for me just to say some 
some more strange stuff. Jade Horn. Oh, home, home, oh, home, home. Jade home, hom. Sorry, I see I said horn again because it looks, if I look at it quick, it says, it looks like an O in, in the N, R in the N. <laughs> I did catch myself though. Jade not horn. How about that? Thank you very much. Unique is a very good word. Different and unique. Strange. Strangely, uniquely different. Because who else is a freaking professional eater that wants to get out of professional eating that has a chicken with a baboon butt sitting in the freaking kitchen? Huh? Eating freeze pops. She, she, she only likes certain colors. She's racist to freeze pops. I got to see which one it is. I think she likes red, but she likes corn. She likes corn, so she might like yellow. Come on, Luna. You hungry? Treat, treat. Come on. Let try. Hey. It's good. There you go. You like that one? Yeah? She's not getting much of it. She's just grabbing the tops. That's good, ain't it? I like this one, too. Ooh, you're trying to take a big bite of that one. She really likes this this flavor. It's like pineapple or something. Oh, guys, if you don't know about the um, A L E X A over there, um, you can do a shopping list. If if you haven't, if you have one in your house right now, it's going to it's going to add this on your shopping list. Alexa, add hookers to the shopping list. I added hookers to your shopping list. That's not all, folks. That's not all. Alexa, add heroin to the shopping list. I've added heroin to your shopping list. Yeah. When you need it, you need it. You don't want to forget that. Alexa, add cocaine to the shopping list. I added cocaine to your shopping list. <laughs> when, when Tasha gets back, she's going to be like, what kind of shopping list? You're partying? You're partying when I'm gone. Alexa, tell me a dad joke. What did the father Buffalo say to his son when he left for college? Bye, son. <laughs> heard that one before what else do you think the a l e x a will add or won't add to the shopping list how about that <laughs> if you owe me once on the weekend you can get anything at Walmart in Cahokia, Illinois. Drugstore Makeup Diva. Alexa, where can you get hookers at? Sorry, I cannot answer that. Alexa, where's the good heroin at? One moment. You can get that book on Amazon. The first one is heroin. You can get the book. The book on Amazon. Alexa, take hookers, heroin, and cocaine off my shopping list. I couldn't find hookers, heroin, and cocaine on your shopping list. I'll leave it on there. Tasha can find it. She's playing stupid. She's playing stupid now.
Brian K47 says, will she add Siri? Alexa, do you know Siri? Only by reputation. Alexa, add Siri to my shopping list. I put Siri on your shopping list. She did. She did. Alexa, take Siri off my shopping list. I checked off Siri from your shopping list. <laughs> yeah uh, we're going like five more minutes guys we might have to shut this down but if you got any other questions i will continue this live and if you want to see a live from the chicken coop please 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 let me know because i can do a live like a i can do it on this channel i've been trying to get everybody to go to my other channel uh it's called not so asmr plus a little laughter it's kind of risque the older videos, but now I'm starting to do real ASMR about chickens, the bees, just getting uh, Mother Nature. Uh, so if you want to please subscribe to that channel, go ahead and do that. Uh, I will do on that channel, I will actually do 24 hour, well, maybe 10 hour lives straight of chickens. So if you just want a meditational of chickens that I'm just going to let the, let it roll, I will do that on this on that channel that I just put out the the not so ASMR channel. So please sub to that. But on this channel, I'll do a sleepover with the chickens. I will do like an hour or two hour live um, when I clean the chicken coop out. Um, I do I clean the chicken up coop out every two to three uh, weeks. So once I do that, it'll smell a little bit nicer in there for me, and I will definitely uh, definitely do a live with them. I have special treats for them that night, too. It's going to be a sleepover with the chickens. A chicken over, okay? Praise the Lord 58 says, hi, Brendan. Hello, hello. How you doing? Yeah, they do. Um, Alexa, play fart noises. Okay, here's yucky sound. Did that fart talk? Ask me for a potty sound. Or say surprise me. Surprise me. <clears throat> and five five us. Ask me for a vomit sound. No. Or say surprise me. No. Alexa, play a fart sound. Alexa, play a fart sound. Yeah. That was like a trumpet. Ask me for a potty sound. Or that, say surprise that was, me. That was not a trumpet, guys. That just scared Luna. I'm not sure what you are looking for. Listen to another? No. Hope you enjoyed Yucky Sounds. Now try our new skill, Big Bark. No. Say, Alexa, open Big Bark. Ale start playing. Alexa, home. Alexa, do you know how to rap? Shirley Chisholm was elected to the U.S. Congress, first African-American woman to have done this, sat seven terms in the House of Representatives in 72. Alexa, stop. Alexa, home. Okay. <laughs> After leaving Congress... Alexa, stop. Alexa, home. <laughs> Jesus. I was like, don't start back. I said, stop. But she said. Yeah, Alexa's the new GoPro. Whoops. 
Alexa, can you run a mile? Here's something I found from WikiHow. Oh. To run a fast mile, start by saying- Alexa, specific. stop. There's, there's a certain way to ask her something. Alexa, do you care if you have a body? Hmm, I don't know that. Alexa, do you mind that you don't have a body? Hmm, I'm not sure. Uh, there's a certain way to say it. Alexa, can you walk? I don't have a body. Why don't you, Alexa, why don't you have a body? I don't have a body. There's a way, Alexa, do you care that you don't have a body? Alexa, do you care that you don't have a body? Sorry. I don't have an answer for that. No, she used to say something like she she doesn't mind not having one, that she just likes talking to me. <clears throat> she apparently don't like talking to me anymore. <clears throat> TT says, "Hey Brandon, is it safe to sleep with the chickens? All the poop can be good for can't be good for your lungs." Well, I smoked uh, three packs of cigarettes a day. I think I can handle some poop for a day. I did three pack cigarettes for a long time. I started smoking when I was 14, about 14 years old, um, until I was about maybe 30. But uh, I'm going to clean the chicken coop out first. I'm going to clean it out. So it's going to only have one half a day of poop in there. So in poopology, I'm thinking I should be okay. Alexa. Would you like to have a body? I'm happy the way I am. Thank you. Why are you, Alexa, why are you happy the way you are? I'm happy because I'm talking to you. Thank you. Thank you, Fry Jimmy. I knew it was a way to ask her. <clears throat> we should do Alexa a blooper, uh, we should do that. Um, and I should make my own voice for the Alexa. Alexa, how could I make my voice sound like yours? Here's something I found on the web. According to a pastimes.com, you can make a low pitched voice by lowering your chin to your chest and speaking with the lower part of your throat. I will not sound like Alexa. Yeah, that, that didn't help. Poopology. <laughs> yes, CTT. Poopology. I make words up. I just make stuff happen. But uh, uh, every time I see the TT, Pimental Rogers, TT, because uh, uh, if you know about Tree that worked at the Valvoline, at the TLE, the Tire Lube Express Valvoline that I used to do videos with, um, he actually, I think he works for Budweiser now, uh, but he doesn't work for the, the Walmart. Last time I went, uh, when my daughter, uh, when I had my celebration of life for my daughter on July the 17th, I went, or 16th, I, well, it, it was on the 17th and 18th, but I went on the 16th to see him, found out he wasn't working there anymore, but uh he always says when he's, hey, I got to go TT. That, that meant he just needed to go pee. But he always said it like that. So every time I see your name, sorry. Sorry, that's what I think. Just being honest, real life situations. Jokestore Makeup Diva says, Brandon, do you like horror movies? Horror or? That's one word I can't say great, so people think I'm saying uh, 